only Saroj Khan. Welcome to the program. Now, let's Thank go you. back to the very beginning. Your parents came across to Bombay from Karachi during partition. Yes. Was partition a very difficult time for the family? Yeah, we had to leave everything and run away. And I wasn't born. I was in mommy's stomach. <laughs> I was born in India. But does this mean that as a child you saw some really hard, difficult days? Very, very difficult days. Sometimes we had food in the night, sometimes no. Literally? Yeah, literally. You actually sometimes went to bed? Home. Yes, yes. My mother used to put up pots and say, it's getting hot, you'll sleep, we'll wake you up. We went through all that. Those must be memories today that you look back on almost with a smile on your face. Yes, we do. And we just pray to God it never happens again. Now, it was at the age of three that you showed talent as a dancer. Yet I gather your parents were rather worried about it and took you to see a psychiatrist. Yeah, because none of my parents, from their parents' side or my mother's side, nobody was a dancer or a musician or a painter, no artistic thing. And suddenly out of the blue I was dancing, looking at the shadow and making faces and all that. So my mother thought I was little retarded. <laughs> she took me to the doctor. So he says, nothing is wrong with her. She wants to dance, let her dance. And since you'll require money, why don't you put her in film industry? So my mother said, we don't have any connection. He said, don't worry about that. Many people come to us for child artists and all that. And he was the one who introduced me in the industry. So this is how, in fact, you got your first role in Nazrana? <laughs> Nazrana. I was sitting in the moon and singing a song. <laughs> but you were only three years old at the time. Yeah. I mean, did someone have to teach you or did you of just do course. it as an invitation? No, 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 no. They would teach me how to sing. You went on to do a string of movies after that. Agosh, Badi, Bahu, Majburi. Yes. All child star, mostly with Balrat Sani and uh, Shamaji, Gop who was a comedian in Majburi, I was his pet. In fact, you carried on being a child star right up to the age of 10. Yeah, when we were not wanted. Off. Yeah, Is we were hard? neither wanted in elders, neither in the youngsters. So at the age of 10, you suddenly stopped being a star. Was that difficult for you? No, not exactly, because I loved dancing. So I became a group dancer. And in fact, that's how you made the switch to the <laughs> yes. choreography. Tell me about it. How did you get spotted? How did you become a choreographer? Actually, I used to dance very well and uh, I was doing group dancing for last two years. One master came from South, his name was B. Sohanlal, a very famous dance director. He saw me and he picked me out from the group and made me his assistant. And that time I was only 12 years old. And the first lady I had to teach was Vijanti Mala in picture called College Girl, Shami Kapoor and Vijanti Mala. <coughs> It's a good incident. I was dancing and she was looking at me and she saw through me. My master made a sign, don't dance. So we sat down. She turned around and told Master Ji, Master Ji, kya karna hai? Saying, kya karna hai? What you have to do? You're not looking at her. Saying, Master Ji, she's only a child. Saying, well, you have to learn from her. <laughs> That's how I taught her the first time. But in fact, you had a great success just a year later when you were 13, didn't you? You did your first solo choreography. Yes. And that too with Raj Kapoor and Nutan. Nutan. That was picture called Dil Hi To Hai. My master took the money and went away to Sangam's outdoor for Raj Kapoor because he was not going. So he had to pictureize a song over there. And these people, the producer said, we will not take another choreographer because we paid your master. Now you do the dance direction. I said, I can dance. I can't compose. He said, our director is very nice. P.L. Santoshi, that is, today is Rajkumar Santoshi's father. He knows how to take out the work. So I said, okay, fine. If he can do it, I'll do it. So he played the sound and it was, Nigahe Milane Kuji Chata Hai. So he told me, he says, if your master was there, how would he express Nigahe? means eyes. So I said, like this, like this. He says, I like this action. Just hold on. Next sentence was Milane ko, like meeting. Kaisa batayenge? How will you show it? So I said, he'll do like this, he'll do like this. He said, now hold this. Now mix these two together. So I said, Nigahe Milane ko. See, you have a sentence now. That's how I composed the whole song. 
<laughs> and it became a super duper hit. Not only did it become a super duper hit, but because of how well you did it, Sadhana, I believe, asked you to do her movie Gita Mera Naam, and you were still only 16. 16. She gave me a break because she was directing herself. And I had come in contact with her because of Master Ji. I was teaching her in Mera Saya, that Jhumka Gira Re, the famous dance. So she told her husband, I don't want any dance director, I'll take Saroja as dance director. And she gave me a break. Now you had great days, but suddenly in 1977, you left the film world and you went to Dubai. I had to, because all the children were grown up, like my husband's first wife's son, they were grown up, my brother was grown up, but they were not working. And I had finished my shorthand typing. So my husband said, you go and do some job over there, take them from here. So I went and joined army with Mr. Major Murad. His name is Major Ibrahim Murad. He took me as a secretary. So in three years, I pushed all my family to Dubai. They settled down over there. And I resigned and came back to my film industry. Was it easy to come back? No, no, no. I had to pick up my threads. But I didn't go to anybody. Till that time, Zarina Wahab was a very famous Da uh, artist and a dancer. She was doing one picture with Rashris, which was called Jazbat. The one Raj, Raj Babu was introduced. introduced. So she told me that I've heard such a lot about you. Do one song for me. I said, I'll do it, but on my conditions, because Rashri never used to pay well. I said, I'll do one song free. If you like my work, then give me my, my, my prize. They said, OK. And I did first Fishermonger song. They liked it. By the time I finished that song, full industry came to know that I've come back. All my old producers, they and came back the to me. And did the Rajshis keep their end of the bargain? Yes, they, gave you the they did. <laughs> they did. They are very good people. But it was in fact Subhash Gai, wasn't it, with Hero, who gave you, in a sense, your first big break? Break. Because nobody would trust a woman, a lady, a female, to do dance direction. Because that was a man's forte. They would think, she doesn't know camera work, she doesn't know nothing, how will she do? When Subhashi gave me this picture, Hero, people started noticing that, no, when he can give her a picture, that means she knows something. Today, it's not so difficult. In yesteryears, it was very difficult. So would you consider Subhash Gai, in a sense, your mentor? Mentor, my mentor. He's a yes. special person. Too. Yes. But it was, in fact, in 1988, the Ek Doti number in Tezab that, that shocked really me to shocked you. Yeah. Is it true that you did the whole song in just 20 minutes? 20 minutes. I composed it in 20 minutes. My lady took 10, 10 days. She did 10 days full day rehearsals. And how long did it take Madhuri to learn the steps? <laughs> 10 days. 10 days. So you composed the song and the dance in 20 minutes, and it took Madhuri 10 days. 10 days. Is that because it was difficult or because Madhuri Because just... Madhuri was new, and she had to learn all the expressions, especially. Because every word had an expression in that. In fact, the song and the dance was such an incredible hit. That's when Filmfare, for the first time, instituted the yes. award for choreography. Yes. When you won it, was that a special moment? Special moment. I was dancing on the stage without anybody else realizing. Actually, Madhuri was supposed to dance on Filmfare. She rehearsed. But when she saw the people, there were so many people. She got she nervous? Got, she got cold feet and she refused. So Madam Nisha came running and telling me, see what has happened, she's not dancing. I said, never mind, I'll go. And I went in her place. My group didn't know I was coming. When I started crossing my group, they all were going, Master Ji, Master Ji. <laughs> and I did that dance number there. And was that on the or stage. after the award? No, no. After the after award, the she award. was supposed to dance. So in fact, you must have been dancing on a real high at that time. Yes, I was. You went on to win the award two years running there after making it a hat, hat trick. trick. A record that no one's equal. No, not yet. Is that a moment when that's something you're particularly proud of? Isn't it? I am proud of it and I wish I keep it up because this 99 I have taken, I'm maiming for 2000. 2000 as well. But what went wrong with Rangila? I mean, everyone thought the award should have been yours, but it went to someone who was a former assistant. Did you and Ram Gopal Varma just fall out? Fall no, it wasn't that. It was date clashes. I did four songs and he, in the picture, gave only in the bracket that I've done one song, Tanha Tanha. And that wasn't true? No, I've done four songs, then I put a case against him. He sent me a letter of apology and he said, yes, you have done four songs, but we can't change the titles now. 
But does that mean that the award went to the wrong person? No, that song was genuinely done by Ahmed. Okay, but all the others were done by you. <laughs> yes. Did it leave a bitter taste? No, we are still friends. We worked again in Dor. But you feel that the award should have been yours? Mm, <laughs> that, that everyone feels. <laughs> Let's take a break there. I want to come back in part two and talk to you about some of the incredible actors and actresses you've worked yes. with and the way you've shaped their destiny with mm. your dance. Yes. We'll be back in just a couple of moments. Stick with us. Welcome back. My guest is Saroj Khan. Now, amongst the big names that you've worked with, is perhaps the one that's really the flavor of the moment, Hrithik Roshan. You yes. choreographed for him in Fiza and also in Mission Kashmir. Yes. He's a great dancer. He's a beautiful dancer. It's a God gift. You see, there are certain times when you want to make a dancer, when certain times you get people like Hrithik or you get people like Govinda, you get people like Madhuri, those who are born dancers, they have it in them. We have only to take it out. You're being very modest. I was going to ask, <laughs> How much of his great dancing is Hrithik and how much of it is in fact Saroj Khan? No, no, no. He is very good because he really labours hard. He comes for rehearsals and if he's not up to the mark, he'll say we won't do it tomorrow, we'll do it day after tomorrow, like this. Would you say that one of the great qualities of a good dancer is knowing you're not ready? Absolutely. Even Madhuri, even Sri Devi, they would come to the rehearsal hall, rehearse and then say no we will require another two days to prepare. Now, in fact, the great Tandav number from yes. Pisa is your creation. Yes, <laughs> that I'm proud of. Proud of what? Because Tell being me. a dance director, I have done a fighter's job. When it came to me, when it was named as Tandav, I, I told Khalid ji, I said, is he dancing in Dhoti or something like that? He says, no, no, the sound is Tandav, but his mission to take revenge, he's preparing himself. So I had to think of all that type of moments. Was it difficult? Because it's very unusual. Unusual, know? very unusual. But he did it so well. The full credit goes to him. Tell actually. me something else. Did you, when you were choreographing that dance, keep in mind the fact that Hrithik has perhaps one of the most incredible bodies because the dance looks yeah. like a showcase for his body. Exactly. We had to do that because that's how we would show that he's preparing. Those high jumps and all that, no one else can do it. So the dance was really created with Rithik with, and with his Rithik. physique in mind. Yes, yes, hundred percent. You also even the eyes, even the close-ups of eyes, are taken because he's got those powerful eyes. You mentioned a moment ago that you've also choreographed for some of the greatest actresses, Madhuri, Sri Devi, even Aishwarya. Now she is the best. But is it difficult when you're handling stars who are such big celebrities, or in a strange way, is it easier? No, because see, we have seen them come. They are not there and we have come. So they give us equal respect. So there's no, I mean, we are not in awe of them. They are in awe of us. But Master Ji, will we be able to do it? They have that sentence. You see their nervousness? Yes, we do. Even Nimura, she took quite a lot of time to learn and she really, her feet, her knees, everything were bruised. But she didn't complain a single time. So you're a hard taskmaster. <laughs> you make them practice really hard. I am. Do they ever do they ever hesitate? Are they ever reluctant? Once in a blue moon if you find an artist like that. And do they throw tantrums? Sometimes. They come and tell me in my ear only. So then I'll manage. <laughs> so you have to bear in mind the fact that they may be learning, but they're also celebrities yes. with big egos. <laughs> we have to look after both the both sides. sides of it. The sad part is that when one of your dancers becomes a real big hit, for instance, Jodi K. Piche or Mera Pia Dharaya or Rangji, yeah. the audience seems to give the credit to the actress, forgetting that there's a choreographer that's put in a lot of work. Does that hurt? It hurts very much. And thanks to this video and TV and all that, that now people have come to know that we are behind the scenes. So previously Otherwise, previously, unnoticed. nobody would even look at us. But we have gone now, through that. But even now, when someone sees a great dance in a movie hall or on a video screen or on one of the television programs, it's the actress that you associate the dance with, not the choreographer. How do you think <laughs> that balance could change? I don't think this can ever change because our people are so ignorant in a way. They do not know what is happening at the back. 
This is only because of TV that they have come to realize that these are the people who teach. Otherwise, they think they rehearse from home and come. <laughs> so you're resigned to the fact that you're never really going to get the recognition. Not at all. Not until some of us take a stand and say that you have to show our faces also. I mean, when you compose a dance, do you do it primarily with the music in mind or do you also bear in mind the dancing ability of the actor and perhaps even the storyline? Storyline is most important, more than the music. If my director says, she's not a dancer, but you have to make her dance. So I have certain moments which look like they are new. They do not know how to dance, but they are dancing. Like Mission Kashmir. I do not know what is Kashmiri dance, but I have to give them the look of Kashmiri. So I made them sit down and do bhumro with hands and all that. So that gelled with it. So we have to keep that in mind. And you also keep in mind the fact that sometimes the actor or the actress may not be a natural dancer. Yes. So you devise steps to make yes, it Yes, yes, yes. First we call them in the rears a lot. And whatever we have composed, if they can't pick up, then we call them the next day and cut down on the movements. Make it easier and make, easier. Yeah, easier and easier. And plus the cuttings and all that in the camera. But if I have a Madhuri Dikshit in my hand, I do one shot dance so that her caliber can be seen, that she can dance so well. You've mentioned Madhuri several times. Who would you say is the best dancer that's been through your hands? The best dancer, of course, Madhuri. Because of of she them. has taken every bit of me in her. The facial, the hands, the body. When she came, she was not a perfect dancer. She would cry, I can't do it. <laughs> so all of this is something you've taught. In a sense, Madhuri's dancing ability today is a reflection of yes. how well you've taught her. Yes, you can say that. And who's the best male dancer? Govinda. Without doubt? <laughs> Without doubt. And what about the opposite? Who has no. two left feet? <laughs> there are many. Many? <laughs> there are many. There's not one or two, there are many. But nowadays, because of these discos and MTV and all that, they come prepared. So what we see on the screen and what beguiles us is in fact an illusion. Most of the time they're dancing illusion. pretty badly. It's just the great cutting and the teaching. Yes. You've been associated with choreography for almost four decades. Yes. How would you say dance has changed over that period? Oh, they have changed. First, it used to be more facial. And in romantic numbers, you could feel the vibes between the hero and heroine. Without holding hands also, you, they could show romance. That was because of the facial. One one shot used to go on for one one antra, but nobody would feel bored. But now, since the MTV has taken over, it's all physical, it's more aerobics and all that. So has lyricism gone out of dance? Totally. We try to bring it back, again next number comes. It throws it out. And are you disappointed with the way it's developing? Yes, very much. Nowadays, even the producer directors are feeling it, and they're giving us numbers which have more melody, more, you know, like more soft dances. So you're trying to revert trying. back yes. to the old yes. type of dancing. Yes. Let's talk a little about you personally. In 1973, you met Sardar Roshan, and within a week, you were married to him. Was it love at first sight? Yes. Or did he make you an offer you couldn't refuse? <laughs> No, it was love at first sight. What attracted you to him? I don't know, maybe because he was such a genuine person. Whatever he felt here, he spoke. I hadn't met a man like that. Was it love on first sight for him too? Yes. And when he proposed to you, how long did it take you to make up your mind? Within two seconds. Within <laughs> no doubt I was waiting it. for it. In fact, you were hoping it would probably happen earlier. Yes, I was waiting for it. Your son says, that in my mother's case, and I quote this, it's always been dance, 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 and dance, and dance, and dance. <laughs> He's right, because I have not been too much near them. I've always been in work, work, work. Are you a workaholic? I am. And does the family suffer sometimes? Not exactly, you see. The gap between my children are too much. Like my son is 13 years old, older to my daughter, so he looked after her. When my li little daughter was born, there was seven years difference. So they looked after each other. You seem other. to have designed your family deliberately so that you could keep doing the dancing <laughs> work, and the teaching. Work, work, work. <laughs> so yes. each of the generations has brought the next yes. one up for you. Yeah. Today, you've won practically 
the film fair awards six times more than yes. anyone else yes what next waiting when i'll get the national when i'll go for oscar is the national an ambition you have yes i have do you think you should have got it already for nimbuda yes but i don't know judges are there they didn't think i'm up to the mark was it politics maybe i'll try or was again it fate that cheated fate fate i don't say politics do you believe in fate do i do i that? do i do when you believe, believe in fate i mean are you superstitious no i'm not but i believe in fate so are there certain things that you have to do to reassure yourself are there particular things that you do before you begin a new project or a new dance no the only thing which i do is i take my master's name and i do my namaskar and when you say you take the master's name is this in fact the mr sohanlal who introduced me sohanlal yes who taught me everything so you remain loyal to his memory yes i've read that you also want to direct the aim is there yes i i do feel i i have enough of experience for it and i have four projects those who are waiting for me but i'll only do it after i complete this program of mine whatever dates are gone that will take me another one year so after a year would you give up being a choreographer completely not exactly <laughs> because that's my life but you will also, also direct, direct your first movie yes Tell me, when you direct your first movie, yes, who will be the choreographer you choose? I'll tell you. I like my son. He's got a camera sense which I don't have so much. He is too much into camera. I would like him to do. Then I would like Shamak Dawood to do one song of mine because he's very good from what I have seen. And there's one Mr. Bhushan Lakhandri. is very good so you're going in to, my eyes so you're genuinely going to use your own movie to give an opportunity to those you admire and those you want to give a picture yes to. i will what it sounds like a movie that many of us are anxiously going to look <laughs> forward to it good luck thank you thank you for a really wonderful interview thank you thank very, you very much. much indeed